everybody welcome back to my channel it's been forever I mean I always say that every time I hop on here but I'm I'm really trying to work on it guys like I swear I'm working on it this video is going to be about just some staple pieces that you should have in your wardrobe that are like timeless and should not go out of style and this is just something great to know because you don't want to have to spend your money on stuff that's just trendy all the time and it's just going to go out of style and every year or every season you're like why is it that I'm always spending my money and nothing ever like it's like why don't I ever like anything. Okay so I'm going to just kind of make my way from the top down like how you would I guess just from head to toe. So the first thing that I thought I should start with is jewelry. So uh, currently I'm actually wearing some of my favorite pieces right now and and I just thought these would be really good to kind of give you an idea, an example of what I need. These are from a brand called Vita Sienna. So I'm actually in partnership with this brand right now, but I do want to say this is not sponsored. They are not paying me. I am not getting compensated in any type of way for talking about my opinions on this jewelry. This is truly my opinions and I would not be talking about them if I didn't think that they would benefit you because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The reason I chose to actually put these pieces in this video is because they're exactly what I'm talking about. For me, my go-to piece of jewelry is gold. So yours might be silver. So you wanna invest in a color that really suits your skin tone. And so these are just timeless pieces. Like this necklace right here has this beautiful, just circle pattern. The smallness and the daintiness of it really keeps it elegant, really keeps it timeless, but it is a little trendy because of the different like swivels in it, I guess is the way to explain it. So it keeps it interesting, but it's also not something that's gonna go out of style anytime soon. Same with these earrings. They're basic hoops, which is a basic style that you should have. Just little hoops, different sizes, but the thing that makes them trendier, less boring than normal, is they have a cute little swirl pattern on and I want to say the same thing with my ring. I don't see this going out of style anytime soon because it's so simple, but it's also captivating. And this jewelry is hypoallergenic, which is great because I know I have sensitive skin. And also, I've put this stuff to the test and you want to make sure you get some jewelry that lasts because who wants to like accidentally get pushed in a pool one day not that you should be getting pushed in a pool but say it happens or it's raining outside you come home take your jewelry off and you're stained green i have put this jewelry through like water tests and they have not tarnished and these products are actually made from silver or brass which is really good very long lasting and they're very affordable too being made out of those materials so if you decide that you want to pick up some of these pieces the, their website is linked down below also, I have a 10% off discount coupon code. That's such a tongue twister for me, which is also down below if you want to get some cash off because, you know, we're out here, some people are, you know, we're in a pandemic, we're kind of struggling. So if you want a few bucks off, you can use my code. So we're making our way down. Okay, so as we make our way down, let's talk about like shirts, jackets, all of that kind of good stuff because that's this part of the body. Okay, so I have a few items right here and this is me also praying I don't set them on fire because aesthetics. I'm just gonna go in the order which I have them on here. So the first one is kind of like these cardigans. So this one's kind of tied up, but it's as you can see, it's a basic like knit cardigan. Very simple. It's literally, you can use it in almost every season because some of them are very heavy, some are light. So depending on where you are, you just wanna get something that fits your needs. I'm in New York and honestly, I love wearing these around the house when I get cold. So I have this one right here. Okay, so next I'm going to talk turtlenecks. I love me some turtlenecks. I have a few right here that I'm gonna show you. You probably have seen these in other videos of mine, but I just honestly love turtlenecks and they always, I'm wearing a turtleneck right now, shoot. So this is a white one. I just think it's really good to have just some basic colors, different cuts. This one is long enough to tuck in. I have this one right here, which is cropped, so you don't have to tuck it in and it's really good for the summer. And the material on this one is really thin. And also turtlenecks are really great for layering. So if you live in colder climates, it's just really great for layering. I, I definitely think these are must have staples. But for the next category, it's just some basic tees. I don't really need to talk much about this, but I think you should have basic tees, like basic neutral tees. No matter what your style is, you need basic neutral tees. They can be dressed up anyway. If you wanna be grungy, you wanna be edgy, basic tee. If you want to be really minimalistic and kind of like clean, simple, basic tee. Very extra and elegant, all that, basic tee. Like it all starts with your basics and then it's what you add on top of it that really makes it a specific style. I can literally 
wear these with anything. That's why I love them so much. So just make sure you invest in a few basic tees. These are cropped because, hello, I was a West Coast girl. So it was a little toasty where I came from. Also, you wanna make sure you have them in different varieties. So like short sleeve, long sleeve, cropped, not cropped. I just showed you these because these are really just as basic as it gets. Okay, so next I'm only gonna show one of these, but just a blouse. Everybody, you know, I personally believe that blouses, I used to, I actually feel like that's such like, I, the word blouse, I feel so old saying that. So, a pretty shirt. This is my pretty shirt. Something like this, it's trendy because of the cut and it's very kind of like, I think, European the Queen. I don't know much about royalty over there. I'm American, uh, <laughs> which speaks volumes. But yeah, just a simple fancy shirt. It could literally be any style, but as long as you just have something that you can throw on and almost make like a, a business casual or just like a really like elevated casual look, Something like this would be great. Okay, next, because the shirt department is quite long, um, it's just a basic sweatshirt. These, I have literally never seen go out of style. These and hoodies and stuff, this is what I like. You know, that's just, this is my personal style of how I would go about getting something like this. But I just think a basic sweatshirt that you can throw on with leggings, that you can throw over jeans, you have to run out to the store. Basic sweatshirt just will not go out of style. Okay, and last but not least for this category, uh, for the shirt category is sweaters. Yes, I said it, sweaters. And even this sweater right here brings in that turtleneck from the beginning of the video. I think basic sweaters, sweaters honestly in any color, just won't go out of style. I don't think a sweater will ever go out of style because of how warm and efficient they are. And I'm not saying that you have to get these things in the way I'm styling them. I just wanted to show you the bones of what I feel you should have, but it's just portrayed in my style. And we're making our way down, and as you see, the next thing down on me is a belt. So I think you should have belts. Those just won't go out of style. Also, they just keep your pants up. If you're built anything like me, whether it looks like it or not, the measurements don't lie. My waist should not be in the size pants that I'm in. It's my thighs and my butt that should be in the size pants that I'm in. So a lot of the times, like every outfit, I have to wear a belt because even if they're high-waisted, there's just space. Like even here, there's just space, there's space. I just have a few belts here. This one is just a basic like brown belt. This one's actually a thing all in itself. It's actually a fanny pack. And I think fanny packs, honestly, they might go in and out of style, but they always seem like they're a necessity. And so I got this one in a style that I really would like. It's not that typical soccer mom fanny pack. It's I'm a cool, I'm a cool mom fanny pack. I am not a mother, but if I was a mother, this would be my fanny pack. Like I said, I just have all the basic colors. I have a just basic white belt. And then I have a few more trendy belts. But again, this is just my personal style. Even if this wasn't in style, I would still wear it. Now we are on to the pants. And I'm just gonna keep this section very casual. And then one of the things that I am gonna mention, I do not currently have with me because I don't wear them that often, but I do think there's something we need in our wardrobe. So I'm just gonna talk about those first. It's actually like dress pants or slacks. Those are just really good if you have some type of thing coming up, some type of event, and you need to look a little bit more businessy. Just some really cute basic slacks. Some people like wearing them casual. There's a girl that I absolutely love on YouTube named Kelsey Simone. She says those are some of her favorite pants to wear because they're so comfortable for her. And all of her outfits look super cute too. Okay, so I'm just, since we're on the topic of more dressy pants, um, this was the only thing that I, this is not at all what I'm talking about, but just, you know, something that's not jean material you should have. So this is my version of what I would have that's not jean material. Just these really cute, flowy, wide legged pants. This is again just what I would go in my style. This would be what I would choose. You could even use these as a swimsuit cover up. You could most definitely use these as a swimsuit cover up. So I just think they're really cute and I just want to throw them in there so you could see what I mean by you know having just pants that aren't jeans because all these other things I'm about to show you are about to be jeans. Okay so I'm going to list this one first because I know it's what's in trend now but it actually never went out of style. It's just a trend right now. So this one is like wide-legged pants like just straight up and down jeans blue jeans also they're very comfortable they can be worn with almost any type of shoe um like they even could look like fake boot cuts or they would go really pretty with high heels so i just think these are definitely a staple 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of talk about jeans that I wear. I obviously, as you can tell right now, I mean, I, I still appreciate the skinny jean. I still appreciate the skinny jean. So I think you should own a pair of skinny jeans in your closet. I know it's not the biggest trend. I know people are trying to cancel the skinny jean, but like, how dare you? How dare you cancel the skinny jean? So I have these black ones, obviously. You should have a pair of black jeans point blank period, you need a pair of black jeans in your wardrobe. No matter what your style is, it's just good to have. And then also I have these dark denim blue jeans and they're skinny jeans and they're high-waisted. I personally think high-waisted is better than low-waisted if I had to advise like which one do I think would stay in style more and not go out of style. It would be high-waisted because it works for every body type. And then I also just have them, same brand, in the light denim. I think light denim and dark denim are must have, just different types of colors. Okay, so the last thing is shoes. So obviously you see me holding some shoes right now. Okay, so I'm currently showing you my favorite pair of flats right now. These are loafers. I think loafers, they have literally been in style for I don't know how long. Literally everybody always has loafers. Loafers are always in. They're just easy to slip on and go. Men's loafers, women's loafers, and it's honestly really funny now that I think about it they probably call them loafers because they look like a loaf of bread that you stuck your foot in but anyway um, that's my last two brain cells talking but I just wanted to include my loafers I think having a pair of just staple flats will always be in style now that is not me telling you that flip-flops are a thing that should always be in style. Flip-flops, I like me some flip-flops, but I will never advise you to just be like, this is how you style these flip-flops. Flip-flops are cute for the beach, running errands and things like that, but I'm not against flip-flops, but that's not what this video is about. Okay, so next thing that I'm talking about is a pair of sneakers, tennis shoes, trainers you need a pair of whatever you call these running shoes um these are really good just for getting out and going like every day gotta go these and then lastly just a pair of boots these have a little dust over them because they're they were in my closet under a bunch of clothes but these are actually rain boots which again how cute are these for rain boots? Basic boots are just great um, because, you know, also not only do they look cute, but they actually protect your feet really well because if somebody steps on your foot or something happens and you're wearing a good pair of boots, you might not feel it. They're really good for like uncertain weather, like if you don't know what the weather is, wear a pair of boots because they, they'll be able to resist it just a little bit better than these fabric tennis shoes that go whack, 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 when you walk and they're wet, so. Yeah. Okay, everybody, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below to let me know that you like what I had to show. And give me some video ideas. If you have something you want to see, if I know you want to see something, I'm going to film it. That's how it works. When I don't know you want to see something, I don't know what to film. So I'm not saying my disappearance is your guys' fault, but remember, if you are interested in picking up any of these amazing, beautiful pieces they have, so many different styles the links are down below i would love if you wanted to save some money to use my code but if you don't that's fine too all right guys i'm done talking i have a headache so i will talk to you guys in my next video have a great day bye guys